What's up everybody? Hope you all are doing well today. We're looking at four net force practice problems. So this will go over kind of the fundamentals of these problems and then in future videos we'll do some more complex problems. Alright, so in the first problem we have um, basically we have a box or a crate, 10 kilograms, and we're going to be pulling on the crate with the force of 120 newtons and there's going to be some friction between the crate and the floor that amount of friction is going to be 40 newtons All right so the first thing we're looking for is a net force so remember when you're solving for net force you're basically just saying well what is what is the overall force so when I sum up my forces I'll start using this notation submit sum of all forces when I sum up my forces, what is the total, right? And so you can see clearly we have 120 newtons to the right and 40 newtons to the left. So the net force here would be 80 newtons, right? So we have 80 newtons of force pulling this way. All right, when looking for the acceleration, remember Newton's second law says the net force equals mass times acceleration. So in other words, if we have 80 newtons of force, and we're pulling a 10 kilogram mass, then the acceleration would be eight meters per second squared. So problem number two, this time we're gonna be lifting the, the crate. So we're lifting up with 120 newtons of force. And again, this is 10 kilograms. All right, so we're looking for the net force. So this one you have to be careful because a lot of students will just say, oh, it's 120, right? However, there is gravity pulling down on it, right? So there's gonna be some weight acting on the, on the crate. So the amount of weight is simply M times G. So it's gonna be 10 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So that means there is 98 Newtons of weight. So when we do our net force then we're going to have 120 newtons going up and then we're going to subtract out 98 newtons coming back down. So our net force for this one is going to be 22 newtons. So that's going to be our net force and then again our acceleration is the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we got 20 newtons of force the mass in this problem was 10 kilograms. So our acceleration this time is going to be 2.2 meters per second squared. Remember the direction this time would be up, right? Because we're lifting it upwards. Question number three is similar to the very first question. I purposefully did this just so you can see the slight difference. So this time we're pulling uh, with 120 newtons, but we're pulling at an angle here, so a 30 degree angle. Now there's still going to be 40 newtons of force, of friction, pulling backwards. So we want to again find the net force. So remember this is also 10 kilograms, and as we saw in the last problem, that means there's going to be 98 newtons of force going this way. So the first thing really that you have to do in this particular problem is you're going to fix your little 120 newtons. What I mean by that is we're going to find out how much force is um, horizontal and we're going to figure out how much force is vertical. All right, so recall when we have a triangle like this, we're just going to say, oh, to the right, this is going to be 120 newtons times the cosine of the angle. 30 degrees and then the upward force is going to be 120 newtons times the sine of 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. So I get 60 newtons upwards and to the right I get 104 newtons. So sometimes what I like to do, let's go ahead and draw this a little bit, redraw this just so you can see it. So we have 98 newtons going this way, and this way we have uh, 104, 
and this way we had 40 and this way we have 60. So you have to be careful here because remember we're sliding this across the road. So even though it looks like, oh, there's 98 down, 98 down, right? And then 60 up. But remember the floor itself, this is not busting through the floor. So that means there's gonna have to be another 38 Newtons from the floor. I know the question doesn't ask this, but let's answer it. Where there's gonna be 38 Newtons from the floor pushing back up. This, by the way, is what we call the normal force. And we're gonna go into more details in that in a future video. But for now, just understand that that's a force coming from the floor that keeps the box from like flying through the floor. So back to the original question, we're looking for the net force so let's ignore the kind of the vertical forces at this point because those just cancel out to zero but we now have 104 newtons to the right and we have 40 newtons to the left so at this point it should be pretty easy for you to find the net force we're just going to subtract those two 104 minus 40 gives us 64 newtons of net force Likewise, our acceleration, remember acceleration is going to be the net force divided by the mass. So it's going to be 64 newtons divided by um, 10, right? 6.4 meters per second squared. Notice in the very first problem, we got 8 meters per second squared, and this one's going to be less. Okay, and that's because some of our force, remember we were not using all 140 newtons of force this time. We're only using 104 to actually accelerate the box forward. Let's move on to the last question. In this question, again, we're gonna be pulling the box, pushing the box with 120 newtons of force. But this time, um, we do not know the amount of friction. So we're actually gonna be looking for that. So be careful when it says net force here, you're gonna be tempted just to say, oh, it's 120, okay? But when you see this word rough, look for that word here, rough, that tells you that there's friction in the problem, or just kind of hinting at that at least. So for this one, we're actually gonna go backwards. So we're gonna find the acceleration first. And we're gonna do that just knowing the fact that we're going from an initial velocity of zero to a final velocity of two meters per second. And the time that that takes is four seconds. So we're gonna use our kinematic equations here to solve this problem. So we know that the change in velocity over time is gonna be our acceleration. So we're going from zero to two, sorry, yeah, zero to two, so two meters per second in four seconds, right? So that's gonna be 0 0.5 meters per second. So now when we look for our net force, remember our net force is gonna be the sum of our forces, but it's also equal to mass times acceleration. So we're actually not subtracting our forces to find our net force this time. We're gonna actually use the fact that we know the acceleration to go ahead and find that net force. So we know the mass was 10, the acceleration we just found out to be a half. So that means that our acceleration is five. Sorry, net force is five Newtons. Right? So that means if we have 120 Newtons going to the right, if our net force is only five, that means that we must have 115 newtons of friction, right? So our net force is going to be 120 minus the force of friction equals 5 newtons. So the force of friction must be 115 newtons. All right, I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.